Ah, Notion. One of the greatest apps to ever exist. One of the apps that has fundamentally changed the way that I work. But also an app that pisses me off. All right, I'm not gonna get that serious about apps right now. Or will I? What actually matters to me is that Notion hears me out on this video and doesn't go like, hey, don't be too harsh on us, huh? We're like a multi-billion dollar company. Don't be so mad. I'm Italian, it was okay that I talked like that. So, this is the thing that bothers me most about Notion. Man, Notion most about Notion. They recently have come out with like an amazing feature set that I couldn't even have dreamt of. I think the Notion app system was inspired obviously by Josh who did that amazing perspectives method through the new update that they did with the layouts and like the fact that you can change it to open page as full page. But that is actually something that they did because we asked for it. There are so many things that we've asked for that they've just been like, no, We'll, we'll connect an AI through API and put it in Notion, and then we'll do the, the, these things that I'm gonna complain about. Hopefully most of you agree with me that these are decently, you know, largely public problems. Also, this is being recorded on November 27th, so if for some reason they come out with these before, I'd like to thank Notion for their foresight. Just kidding, we've already asked for these things. So my Notion 2023 list is as follows. One, sync database Google Calendar. Everybody who uses Notion is aware of this. I'd also really like it to also have an Outlook integration. There's a lot of really great applications that connect with Google Calendar, and it is frustrating for those who have businesses or work at a company that have Outlook and they'd like to use something besides the Outlook calendar. However, for some reason, there's just not as much API connection through it. Like you can use Morgan, which I really love, but other apps just don't have a Microsoft 365 option and, and it really sucks. So if Notion was able to have a synced database with Google Calendar and with Microsoft 365, they would really put themselves ahead of the curve against other productivity apps. Number two, subtasks. I think they might be close to this one and I do appreciate the fact that you can do different things to make subtasks possible, like having a self-relation. However, just having it native as a property would be kind of amazing and a lot of people have complained about this for a hot minute. Or even just making an easy template to make that a thing within new pages. That, that would make a lot of sense. Number three, recurring tasks actually associating the date property to the recurring task. Now we can only do it with created time. And I don't wanna be rude, but when Notion did this update, when they're like, all right, hey, we got recurring tasks, ladies and gentlemen, I was so excited until I figured out that it couldn't associate it with the date property. So the majority of things that functionally work within teamwork and like even personal productivity, it triggered me because I'm like, all right, cool. Now I can do a habit tracker in Notion, that's amazing but this is not recurring tests. Like I can do my workout and my habit tracking in here. But for things that are recurring tasks that sometimes get pushed to other days, it doesn't work. Like it works for habit tracking and it works for workouts because like you should stick to the consistent schedule and do it on that day. And it this just really doesn't work for anything outside of like, all right, maybe this needs to be done this week for a task, but I don't, it's just not, it's a little triggering, I'll be honest. So actually doing that would be, <laughs> That'd be great. Number four, can you talk to Zapier about how dog water their integration is? All right, I'm just gonna say it how it is. I like Zapier. It does some things functionally well, but there are a few things aesthetically that are garbage with the Zapier Notion API connection. I'm literally just asking you to have an honest conversation with them about it. Hey, can you please update it to have relations? Can you please update it to make it so that you can update status properties? and the page. So for example, and this is not a joke, I can have like a 15 step automation, which is awesome. And you can recognize a lot of these things as good. But when this organized meeting call files and notes happens, this is awesome. I'm glad with the markdown functionality, it's great. The fact that I can't connect it to my trees or branches or put an icon on it is ridiculous. Please just have a conversation with them about it. I know it's not really your fault, but this irks me. Another thing that would be awesome would be being more transparent with where you're at with a lot of these large updates. When people in the community ask, oftentimes what happens is Notion hits us with a, yeah, I mean, we're working on it. And I'm like, that's cool and all, but like any sort of ETA on it whatsoever, because you had the Notion block by block conference and the synced calendar thing that everyone wanted to happen, just dead silence for a long time on when that was actually gonna come out. And the last thing is, I want you to hear me when I say this. Your application is amazing in the sense that you do not put out anything that really breaks the app. I don't want you to, for lack of a better phrase, pull a click up. 
and put out so many things that bugs just keep happening, okay? Just awesome job on what you're doing. But could you maybe expedite the rate at which you're hiring new talent considering the valuation that you're currently at and how much capital you've gotten recently? The team is still very small and I appreciate that, but could you take a step forward in getting more team members. Maybe you're hiring, maybe you're doing more than I'm thinking, but from what I can tell, since your order of operations of requests has been out of order, you might end up being in a situation where you're dealing with things that maybe people have more expertise in and that's why you're going with it first. I'm totally understanding on the subject. However, I'm going to be the Grinch of productivity in Ocean and just say it how it is. It kind of sucks when we ask for specific things and then you put other things out and I'm wondering whether having more engineers in general could help you alleviate that problem. Thank you all for listening to this one. Thank you for all that you do notion. Hear me when I say I appreciate you and objectively think you're in a great app, but I'm a complaint. So that was my that was my very grinchy wish list for notion for 2023. A nicer video is going to probably be found here. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm going to be annoyed in that video too.